A good day everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make use of the key press event. The key press event occurs when a character, a space, or a backspace key is pressed while the control has focused. And the key press event prevents a characters from being entered the control. To avoid unnecessary mistakes or to avoid unnecessary errors. For example, this crude operation which I already implemented. By the way, if you, you want to know how I managed to create this crude operation, I'm going to put the link up above your screen on your right hand side so that if you are, you are interested, you can just click on the link and that link will take you to the video that I published already, the one that uh, speaks about crude operation, all right? And I'm also going to put a link below the description so that if you are interested, you can click on the link and then it's going to take you to the video. Let me try to uh, register two different articles. So the first one, I will say, um, let me try to say something, PS, which will stand for, for instance, uh, plastics just going to create something so the value of that plastic or the unit price of that plastic is 50 rand all right so this is the first item now let me create the second item i will say lt which might stand for uh light sorry uh, no let me just do it in a nice way which might stand for light so that light, instead of saying 20 rands or maybe 50 rand or 70 rand, I'll say 70 rands. I'll write it like this. Uh, let's say 70 R, which stands for 70 rands. But this is what is going to happen. I'm going to try to, to save or to insert these information into the database. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm preventing you that it's going to throw an exception. Why? Let me try to save. Like I said, it throws an exception and the, the exception unhandled this message say that um, system dot data dot secret clients dot SQL exception. It says that convention failed when converting the varchar value 70 R to data type int. Data type int is st stand for integer so why this exception is thrown before closing this window let me take you to my database and you're going to see the reason why this exception is being thrown let me open my database uh, which uh, row are we looking at here we are talking about uh, the uh, the unit price all right so i'm going to open my database uh, one more time, if you want to know about this database, which is connected to this to this uh, uh, crude operation, or one more time, put the link up above your screen on your right hand side. You can click if you want to, so you can see the way I managed to implement this database. So this is the database, which uh, name is crude, and the items I'm working on is item. I mean, the table I'm working on is items. Let me go to the design mode of this database here. So the exception is thrown because of this column here because of unit price so look at here the data type of uh, the data type that i prefer for this column i declare it as int which stands for integer or integer but i want it to be integer which means that it has to only accept digits from 0 to 9 it doesn't matter how long it is but as long as it is digit, this uh, that is going that is the, the type of data that must be saved into this column here in my database. But by me on the on the Visual Studio side, instead of me putting a integer, I put a instead of me putting an integer, I put a letter, which is something totally different. It could be a space. It could be a special character or a letter 
that is not integer that is string so we can see there's uh, there's no compatibility or there's a problem here between two type of data integer and string so because they don't match together that is the reason why the exception is thrown and the best way to handle this situation or to avoid this kind of mistake imagine you have implemented this system is working at the client side and then all of the sudden because you did not put all the precaution or all the security in place and then the client instead of putting an integer value the client happened to put a string value and then it throws these kind of exceptions it's so awkward for a client to go through this kind of situation so you as a software developer you have to make sure that you are avoiding these kind of clutches by making things clear and making things clear means that if you declare integer here on the database side for you to make to avoid any other mistake of putting a letter or special characters on your visual studio side you must make use of the key press events that is the reason why the key press event is to prevent characters from being entered the control that uh, you are making use of all right so how do we go for making use of a key press well let me take you through that as it works so i'm going to just stop the running uh, stop running my visual studio here because it was running let me get back to my form so the control or the tool i'm referring to it this text box here all right it's for unit price because you can see this unit price matches with unit price here on the database side all right so because the data here is integer integer I have to make sure that uh, this text box only accept integer value. So here I'm not I'm not going to be talking about integer on the uh, uh, Visual Studio side, but I'll be talking about key press which will block any space, any special characters, or anything else. The one that is different from a number to be entered here. All right. So it's gonna prevent from throwing an exception it's just not going to allow any other thing rather than a number to be entered here so i'll go to the text box the one i want to block access uh from our special characters or letters to be entered here i'm just going to select it and then i click on it uh, i right click on it I, I select properties then you come all the way down here you come all the way on the property side here um we need to make use of uh, the events we don't need property we don't need the uh, alphabetical either we don't need categorized either what we need here we are looking at events all right and which event we need we need the key press events that is the one that is going to prevent from any other thing to be entered rather than a, a number in a particular uh, control or in a particular toolbox all right but and for this case we are talking about unit price so that is the text box that handled the unit price so let's look for key press <coughs> sorry okay i'm going to double click on uh, key press so it gives me these events this is the event the event is key press so i'm blocking the access uh uh from uh, special characters or letters to be entered when we are making use of uh, this text box all right so i'm just going to copy and paste the source code which uh, handle uh, this uh, uh the, what we we are looking at here so i'm just gonna open here this is the code which i already created for the sake of making this video short i'm just gonna copy and paste it so let me come here then i paste it as it is all right this is the only source code we need for that uh, for our text box so let me run now this the, the application
okay let me try to create uh, let's say um what can i say here let's say ph sorry uh ph for instance or actually let's say cell which stand for cell phone cell phone and then here i'm gonna try to put a letter i think you can hear i'm busy smashing i'm busy hitting on letters here but uh, nothing is happening I'm, I'm putting even backspace try to put a space nothing is happening i'm putting some special sorry some special characters here but uh nothing is happening but if i only press on one two three four five six seven eight nine zero it's working because these digits are the one that are allowed nothing else and then i can click on save you can see we saved our data in the way we are supposed to so guys if you really like this video please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel because there's a lot of things that i have that i have to publish which might be very important to you and the only way you can support uh, me is by subscribing on my youtube channel and please if it's possible like my video so in the meantime keep well guys see you in the next video bye